Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In a previous video, I introduced you to the best method for cutting and separating wine bottles for upcycling projects. I also made a video showing you a solar option for beer bottles. Beer bottles are more difficult to separate than wine bottles because the glass that forms the beer bottle is much thinner, and despite the identical look in a six pack of beer, the bottles are inconsistent with thicker and thinner areas. This is a bottle cutter that costs less than $40, with a specially designed cutting wheel for cylindrical glass that makes this the best cutter on the market. There's information on where you can pick up a cutter like this in the more info area below and also on our website greenpowerscience.com. Once you select the desired cut height, simply place the bottle on the cutter and turn with light pressure producing a light score line. Overscoring or using excessive pressure creates tiny cracks that causes undesirable results when separating. While the hot water method is extremely quick and works best for wine and champagne bottles which are much thicker, this method can make cutting beer bottles very frustrating. The best method I've come up with to separate thinner glass like beer bottles is to use a soldering iron or a soldering iron as some people like to call it. Solder. 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 Solder, solder, solder. You also use a wet cloth and an LED flashlight. Since a soldering iron is an electrical device, do not use this around a filled bathtub or sink as you might do with other methods. Getting the crack started on the score line is the trickiest part. You need a little bit of patience to learn this new skill. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. I recommend holding the wide part of the soldering iron, which is usually the hottest part, against the score line for 5 to 10 seconds, then quickly wipe that area with a wet cloth. If you did it correctly, you should have a crack that started only on the score line. Identifying the crack on the score line requires the aid of directional lighting. This is why I use an LED flashlight. If you happen to have a crack that runs up the bottle, the heat exposure was too much, but we can still use this bottle to make a cup. If the crack does not start at all, simply reapply the heat in a different area of the bottle. Most beer bottles have seams where the glass is thicker and starting at the seam works good for some bottles but not for others, so this is something you will have to get the feel of. Once you have a line that starts only on the score line like this, use the tip of the iron to work the score line by heating the area next to the crack. If you're doing this process correctly, the crack along the score line should seem to chase the tip of the soldering iron. You want to continue the process of working the score line with the soldering iron all the way around the bottle, intermittently using a damp or wet cloth to cool the bottle down. The first couple times you do this, it can take you up to 10 minutes to separate a beer bottle, but once you get the hang of it, you can easily separate a beer bottle with a near perfect edge in under 2 minutes. Which brings us to some of the other viral options on the internet, like using a flaming rope and gobs of tape. People who demonstrate these methods usually do not show you a close-up of the bottle after it's cut, and they usually state, now all you need to do is sand the imperfections to a nice flat edge. What they do not tell you is that an imperfection like this can take over an hour to wet sand by hand. So starting with a clean edge will save you much more time in the long run. Once the glass is separated with this method, sanding times only take a few minutes to complete. When sanding the edges, always use wet sandpaper to prevent glass dust, and use a flat edge to produce the best results. This method is so precise that you can even make several glass rings out of a single beer bottle measuring less than one half inch across. This and the solar option are the best methods for cutting beer bottles. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Mm -hmm.